Yes, good afternoon, holiday lighting professionals. This is Brian Ladani. This is a Cliff Notes version of the workshop that was scheduled last Wednesday, I believe the 13th of 14th of Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern um, through Mike Marlowe with uh, Lights for Christmas. So just wanted to give a shout out to Mike. Thank you for the opportunity um, to put on this workshop for the Facebook members. And I'm going to jump right into it regarding building a solid foundation for the upcoming um, holiday season. There's basically five key elements we're going to review, and I'm going to try to stick to this uh, presentation, but I'm going to show some live examples as well. Let me hit play on this. Build a solid digital foundation. The five key elements, lights for Christmas I men mentioned. Um, company name here is PS Digital. We're a full service marketing agency. We specialize in these five critical elements every business owner should have as a foundation. Uh, this is me over 18 years of experience, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to move on. Uh, during this Zoom workshop, uh, there was lots of participation. It's very interactive and questions, which there'll probably be none today. Aha. Uh -huh. This, the five pillars to uh, the foundation, number one is your logo, two is your Google business profile, three is your website, four is going to be reviews, uh, whatever, um, reviews number three, four website, and five is Google ads. Any questions, feel free. Logo. Every business, you probably already have one. 95% of businesses have one. Those few that don't, I highly recommend you get it <clears throat> for branding purposes across Obviously, your letterhead, business cards, your vehicle wraps, and also your uh, online advertising, your social media platforms, etc., and your website. So if you do need logo, let me know. Um, seven important reasons why logo is important. I'm just going to throw them all down. Grabs people's attention. Strong first impression. Brand identity separates you from your competition. Forces brand loyalty. Becomes memorable, and it's expected. It's kind of like where the website is, expected. So now this is Andy Sabota, private golfer. Just want to show you some examples of how it can be used across multiple platforms, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, of course, your website. That consistency, relevancy is paramount. And for example, Andy Sabota, here's a few examples of is. High kick Taekwondo was showing this example because it is a horizontal logo that needed to be reformatted. Didn't change the look, the feel, the colors. Everything is consistent. This is the horizontal logo where it is more of now of a circular to fit those Facebook profile pictures, Instagram, LinkedIn, and etc. If you need any adjusting on that logo, feel free. Send it over. We'll take care of that for you. Complimentary. Any questions about branding, we'll move on. Google Business Profile page. The probably, it's completely free platform. Every business gets one. It's your job to claim it, optimize it, and maintain it. Once again, it's completely free, but this will generate lots of business for you. Um, let alone as your company name. It has your website, your address. If you're a home-based business, we can absolutely hide that address. Uh, your telephone number, um, reviews, and you could even list your services. You could even post on this platform as well. Okay, the Google business is our Google business profile page. It's super important for when people are looking for you directly that it shows up. I'll show you a few examples now. I think I pulled up. Uh, this is Lights for Christmas, Mike's company here, 14 reviews with a five star average, website directions. I can call. Hours of operation, telephone number, there's a little blurb about the business, and then there's some social media profiles. This is something new you can take advantage of. And then that's pretty much it. But super important to build that first, um, that powerful first impression for when people are searching for your business. Once again, here's ours, 148 reviews. I did also Fox Valley, is in Illinois with eight reviews with a five-star average. All right, let me stay on point here. There's gonna probably be a few different things you want to look at. <clears throat> okay, claim 
your business profile. You want to make sure you're the primary owner of this. I'll show you how to get access. You want to collect and respond to reviews. You want to complete every section, meticulous with the contact name, address, phone number. You're going to select your primary and secondary categories, um, applicable attributes. You're going to do a complete description. You could post on this. I'll show you that as well. You could update photos. Ding, ding, ding. It's pretty big for you guys with the, the completed jobs. You could you know, showcase, brag, etc. Answer any questions. You could add your products or services. And you could set up messaging too. People could either call you or they could messenger you via the mobile device. Just you want to make sure you have that feature turned on. We'd like to give people multiple options. They want to call, call. They want to fill out a form, have them fill out a form. And then you want to maintain it. Um, all right, so now I'm going to just show you the back end of this. We're going to take... So this is what it looks like. You're going to be logged into your email address, which I'm logged in as brian.ladani at gmail.com. You're going to hit this grid. You're going to see this business profile manager. Back in the day, it used to be an app on your phone. Now it's more of a browser-based version. And this is what it looks like here on the left-hand side. We'll use ABC Flooring just for an example. Ownership, I mentioned you want to hit these three dots here. Business profile settings, people and access, and boom, you're going to see that I always relate the email address as your key into this platform. So Tony is the primary owner, <clears throat> there were managers, owners, et cetera, underneath Tony. But make sure you're the primary owner and make sure you have access to it because whoever built it, created, former employee, another agency, if you do part ways, the last thing you want to do is it's a pain in the neck getting access to this, especially when you're not in communication with whoever built it out for you originally. That's that. The uh, read reviews, here's where you're going to reply to reviews. So you could either get more reviews with this link here. You copy this. You could put in your signature. You could send it out to your clients to drum up reviews on this platform, which is absolutely huge. You want as many reviews on this platform as possible. On your Google business profile page trust me I'll show you why <clears throat> you'd also do um, updates this is where you could post you could post an event an update or an offer typically on this we'll just do an, uh, an update for example you can add a photo or video at this this section grab it from your computer you're gonna do a description on what it is that you're offering and then this is the most important button it's optional but it's really not you want to always do to learn more Put your web address here. It's a little optimization for your website being on other, you know, links out there. So it's a little, little, little taste of optimization here. You're doing yourself. Let's hit OK there. So the three dots. Make sure you have access. This is your business ID is over here. Um, you can edit your profile here. The primary and well, this here is he's a wood floor installation, so he has secondary. He goes your additional categories here, but put the primary. For holiday lighting, um, let's just look at the MC holiday lighting. This, this, let's go here. Add a profile. Let me just throw in another category. Holiday. Let me go to lighting. I don't want to spend too much time here, but landscape lighting designer we typically do. Um, you're at the mercy of whatever drop down lighting consultant, lighting contractor. Probably landscape lighting designer makes most sense. That's what we choose as the primary. So there it goes. All right, exit that. Read reviews, add your photos over here. Pretty straightforward. You can hit a plus button. They're always changing this. So if we want to add photos, it's right here, add photos. Okay. So this is your Google business profile page. And the reviews is next. Okay, great. So let me move this. And this, and this. I'm just going to get into how to generate reviews. You can do a few things. Um, you saw that link you could copy from your Google business page, put in your signature, send it out, like I said before, text message, email to your current clients. 
um, drum up those reviews on your Google page because you can then take those reviews from your Google business profile and migrate them onto your website. For example, this is what it will look like. We're going to go super clean machine here. He has a 365 with a 4.8. I just want to go to his website here. This is a website we built. I'm just going to give an example of where the reviews are down here. So you can put these, you can, anytime someone writes a review on your Google page, it'll automatically um, pop up over here. So you don't have to do much. Or it automatically gets integrated. And you could actually click here, write a review. It's going to go to the Google business page and make it super easy for people to write a review. Also at the bottom, there's probably another <clears throat> button over here, review us on Google. Okay. So reviews are huge. Um, and like I said, the review link in your email signature, you can email blast your current clients, place a Google review badge on your website. We just saw in the footer of Super Clean Machine. Incentivize your team. When they're out there, they're finishing a job, the customer is happy. It's a great time to incentivize the team with an iPad to capture that review on the spot. Maybe you give a, uh, you know, you give, you throw a couple of bucks here, throw a couple of bucks to the client, maybe a, a gift card to, uh, you know, Dunkin' Donuts coffee and 20 bucks, whatever it is. Super important to keep generating reviews. Also, a couple of other ideas you could do. Obviously, your um, low-hanging fruit is your best clients. The associates you do business with, your colleagues, your friends, your family, have them write sincere reviews. If you have anything under a 4.0, highly get out of that 3.9. Do whatever it takes to get to at least a 4.4 or above. 4.9 is great. Sometimes I think 4.9 is better than the 5.0 because it lets people know you're human. Especially if you have like a thousand reviews with a five star average, people get a little suspect like, ah, but if you have a 4.9, okay, okay. This is, he's the real deal. He, he bleeds, you know, he's a human. Um, I'm kind of making light of that, but don't be discouraged with a 4.9. Anything under a 4.4 or even a 4.0, get to work on immediately. You can count the amount of referrals you do get, but you can't count the ones you're not getting. How many people are not using you because of that 3.9 average? So once again, powerful first impression reviews on that Google business page, which could be migrated onto your website. And here's a few examples on how to generate more reviews. Also, what you want to do is reply to these re reviews as well. <laughs> reply to the great reviews, reply to the all of reviews. If you do get a bad review, my recommendation is try to resolve it with that customer outside, you know, with it on a telephone conversation or in person, and they could go in and edit their review. That's number one. Number two, if they're not going to change it, just keep flooding it with five-star reviews. They'll get pushed down. When you do reply to that negative review, I always say take the night, sleep on it, wake up in the morning, clear head, write a response. Keep in mind the world will be reading your replies as well. I always read replies from the business owner. It gives me a sense of who they are, how they operate. It's just super important. And use those keywords. You know, hey, Mr. Jones was a pleasure, you know. Um, lighting your house during the Christmas season, you know, use the lighting, the Christmas, the holidays, installation, even in the Comac area, wherever you are. All these little tiny little pieces will help optimize your overall organic presence in the whole ecosystem, online ecosystem, if you will. All right, let's move right along. Okay, I guess I'm done with so those are reviews, website, <clears throat> super, oh boy, website is, is the nucleus of it all. The mobile version, actually. Um, that line has been way crossed, the usage between desktop and mobile. Mobile is dominating probably 70% plus certain industries are more, some industries are less, but around 70% or more using the uh, mobile devices to perform searches, look up, um, you know, get directions, telephone numbers, do perform searches on Google, period. So 
the biggest mistake we find business owners make is not looking at their website on their mobile device. Now why? It's a pain in the ass. You want to just whip out your phone, put it in, www. do a search for yourself, click the website, see what you look like. Would you do business with yourself? Is there a flow to it? Other is it legible? Um, is it formatted correctly? Is it easy to get in contact with you? Go what was it? Yeah, mobile responsiveness, educational content, service areas that you work. You want to make that pretty clear. CTAs, your call to actions. Call. People are doing two things, probably three things. You need to make a phone call or fill out a form. And nowadays, possibly you could put a text, you know, text feature. Text for a free quote. <clears throat> All right. Availability and scheduling. You do use third party platforms to integrate onto your website. Uh, Jobber, for example, uh, Calendly, just to name a few. Builds Trust is the website. If you don't have a website, you know, get a landing page, just a one page website or something that's going to represent your business, is going to build the credibility. And the gallery is going to be huge. Showcasing the work you have done this way it gets people warm and fuzzy oh, okay wow wow he does great work let me give him a buzz so the visuals are going to be very important reviews from third party strong visuals pictures say it all oh yeah of course all right what else is there here number nine promotional videos videos are huge we love the videos you could either have a professional video made you can use generic videos it builds a little um, you know, makes it a little bit more modern, your website, especially if it's a, you know, you could use your own phone to make a video and just put it onto your website. Very powerful. Are you qualified? Any certifications? Flipper, for example, provide specials and coupons. You could do starting at holiday lighting, Christmas holiday lighting, starting at just $499, whatever it is, depending on the market you're in. Offer online chat, great user experience, strong professional design, ongoing updates. You can actually link your Instagram page onto your website as well. With that, I'm just going to show you a quick uh, chef, chef Matthew Alexander. This is what the Instagram looks like. See, here's his Google business page website here. When you go to his gallery. And basically, his Instagram is linked to his website here. So if I click this, it's going to go to his Instagram page, which is easy. So you guys, you know, it automatically updates by linking your Instagram to your gallery. The pictures will automatically update as you update your Instagram feed. All right. That's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> the website, you know, you got about 12 minutes left. I want to make this about 30 minutes long. So spend time on the website mobile optimized, user friendly, highly convertible, um, has a nice flow to it, lots of pictures where you can actually see the pictures, the full bleed, make them the full size of the screen, you know, left to right for, um, horizontally. If you need another set of eyes, feel free to reach out. I'd love to critique your website. The website will make or break any other advertising you do out there. For example, if you, well, sponsored ads, if you're just doing simple inquiries on the forms, that's fine. But on your Google ads campaigns, the website is going to really, you know, some people, you may be getting 30 leads a month from your existing website. Kudos. But what I'm saying is you want to take that 30 and try to get 60 leads by redeveloping, redesigning a website. I don't know what your website looks like, but if it does need to, and you are generating leads, just think about a redesigned one, how many more leads you could capture with an easily, um, you know, something easy for people to contact you. And what that gallery, that gallery. So you could even have it on the homepage, just all the different types of houses, whether you do commercial, residential. I think what we have 100 and how many days left? 30, 128 days or something left. So uh, time is a ticking. You want to get these things in order sooner than later. That's pretty much your website. I'll show you some examples. There goes MC Holiday Lighting. Here's his, let's take a look at his gallery. All right, these are all his own pictures. Got some retail in there. 
And this is on the desktop, so you know, really doesn't do justice. You really want to look at this on the mobile device. These are all our websites, of course. But like I said, lots of call to action buttons. Request a free quote, you know, starting at just $14.99. This is the Long Island uh, area. We are catalogs. This best house on the block. This holiday light installations. Here goes your photos on the home page. Why choose Blinkies, more CTAs down here, commercial, little that. Easy, easy form fills. Easy form fills. Boom, I just hit submit, done. <clears throat> Here's his gallery page. I think we have his Instagram feed here. This is Frank's website. SEM, super clean machine. This is a one pager. A one page website, very effective for those who don't have a website, or even if you're. We offer a one-two punch. A one-two punch is a landing page coupled with a Google Ads campaign driving qualified, consistent leads to that landing page that's going to convert, okay? So the one-two punch landing page and Google Ads campaign, that's all you need. And this is a landing page. Call us today. Get a free estimate. Call telephone number. Take the SCM Christmas lighting installs .com. Take a look at it on the mobile device. Because that's where it really looks nice. Telephone number, what they're serving. <clears throat> I'm going to scroll up. Sorry if I'm getting you dizzy. This is another one. Pop-ups are huge. Promotions, early bird specials. Here you go. $200 off. September 30th. There it is up there as well. Christmas light. Now, the difference between, you know, Mike Marlow hit the nail on the head. Light, lighting for Christmas. Lights for Christmas. You know, Christmas lighting. Christmas Lighting installation companies is the number one searched, um, you know, query for you guys. Um, Christmas over holiday. Christmas destroys holiday every single year. So it's not even, so the Christmas holiday lighting installation companies is, um, or even Christmas lighting installation companies, um, the word Christmas is huge. You want to put that into your Google Ads campaign. So anyway, let's move on. Let's get into Google. It's a lot easier if there was a little interaction here, but uh, doing my best. Uh, so Google Ads. Google Ads is, is anyone searching for a particular product or service on Google? It's going to, you're going to find a, so I'm going to look for Christmas. Christmas lighting installation companies. Well, okay, fine. All right, here goes sponsored ad over here. Sponsored, this is what it looks like. I'm not going to click it. Whoever's running Google Ads, if you need an audit, if you're running Google Ads on your own, I highly recommend you get an audit. You're probably running a smart campaign, which is something you do not want to run. You want an expert mode only, okay? Google Ads is, you know, designing ads, extensions, um, bidding strategy. The most important thing you could do when running Google Ads is setting up your conversions properly. What that means is any leads that come in, whether phone call, whether a form fill that are generated from your Google ad, gets attributed back to the Google Ads campaign in order for it to learn who is actually converting. You're actually making Google smarter with regards to who it hunts for that's more likely to convert. A lot of times if a client says, yeah, I'm doing the search for myself, I don't see my ad, that's probably, it's a good thing. We don't want to show your ad to our client because you guys are not in the market. So it's actually being shown more efficiently as time progresses within the campaign. Granted, you guys are seasonal, probably a four or five month, you know, four or five months you got at this. But as the months go by, it becomes more efficient. So what that means is this. For that same $2,000 monthly investment on Google, instead of getting 100 leads month one, for the same two grand, you'll get 120 month two. You'll get 140 month three. So your cost per conversion is going down. Your conversions are going up. That's it. That's with regards to conversions, otherwise known as leads. Then there's two other pieces of the pie here. You want consistency, and then you want qualified. Those qualified keywords, you always want to pump your Google Ads campaign with negative keywords. 
You want to do A-B testing with different ads. You have image extensions, you have promotion extensions you could use, but the most, in, the most important thing you want to do is tracking those conversions properly will enable you to use different bidding strategies to make your campaign as efficient as possible. There's, there's, um, there's, max, there's max clicks you start out with, you're gonna switch over to max conversions, then there's target cost per acquisitions, but none of that is possible unless you're tracking your campaign. The way we track it is with a Google Tag Manager. For example, SCM um, Christmas light installations here. You'll see a GA4, this is a global site tag. This is a Google Analytics, which is now GA4. And then there's a Tag Manager, <clears throat> is where we put all of our code into when tracking two things, completed form fills and completed phone calls. That's it, anything over 30 seconds. That's a conversion. Now, obviously it's your job as a business owner to take that lead, nurture, cultivate, close it, and then you know go from there. But I cannot stress the importance of tracking. We have four minutes left for 30 minutes. The last thing I want to mention is a little, uh, this here. It's called Google Guarantee, AKA local service ads. I highly recommend you sign up for this. The reason being is you're gonna be under the electrician heading. Okay, fine, you're like, we're not electricians. Okay, yes, I know that. Underneath the electrician heading, there's such a, there's subcategories. You're gonna choose the landscape lighting one, uh, uh, low voltage, it's landscape lighting. People, see, I just searched for Christmas lighting installation companies and Google Guarantee showed up. Now, granted, no one really is performing, these are all, straight up electricians. Now, whether they do uh, whether they do, they do Christmas lighting or not, I don't know. But if you do, and you have these reviews, for example, Alpha Omega, they're a client of ours. They have 65 reviews. The way these reviews are populated on Google Guarantee, let's just do a search for them. Uh, search, here they are, they have 64. So these reviews are being migrated onto the local services platform. Now you're like, well, they have one more. The reason why they have one more over here is they got a review on this platform as well. So the reviews on your Google business profile gets utilized on this Google guarantee platform, but not the other way around. So that's why it's so important to generate as many reviews on this platform as possible. Because when you sign up for local service ads, you have a great, you have great opportunity to be positioned in the number one or number two slot here. Okay, so that's Google Guarantee. Try it. It's, you know, now listen, it's a pay per call model. You only pay per qualified leads over 30 seconds. Has to be related to landscape lighting, AKA holiday lighting. If someone calls a solicitation, you don't pay for it. Anyone calls out of your service area, you don't pay for it. Anything out of your services that you offer, you don't pay for it. It could be the greatest thing you do. It may not be, but I say sign up for it. It's all about testing, okay? So as a recap, as we have about a minute and a half left, <laughs> number one is your low, wait, wait, hang on, let me just, what else is here? Uh, Google ads, questions, what is this? All right, yeah. So take a look at what you look like. Do a Google search for yourself. Do a direct search for yourself. Put your company name in. Do you like what you see? You're gonna see your Google business profile. You're probably gonna do it on the mobile phone. Hit your website, take a look at your website on the mobile device. Would you do business with yourself? Then one other thing before I get into a complete recap over here. If, if you're like, if you claim your Google business page and you're in like Hop Hog, Long Island, for example. Now, if someone searches, you know, you know let's take this one search results page here. So these business profiles, and look at this, SEM shows up here, beautiful. I, the Christmas lighting installation companies, I'm in Mount Sinai, New York right now, Long Island. This is what your Google business profile page looks like when someone's searching for your service in the area where you claimed your business. Now, the, this is the three pack. It always used to be called the seven pack. It got condensed, oh my God, seven, eight years ago, got condensed to the three. Tons of businesses being generated from these three spots. It's funny, these two are our clients here. This is Long Island Holiday and SEM. Um, 
um, super clean machine Christmas light in lighting installs here. So that's the two ways people are going to look either directly for you or for your service. And that free Google business profile, we probably get like five, six leads a week just from hours alone. So it's a make sure that you have a powerful first impression on that platform. Make sure it's branded throughout as well. And that's that. Boom. 30 minutes. Recap. Simple. Logo. You don't have one. Definitely get one. Branded across all platforms, make it consistent. Number two is your Google business page. I'm going to beat the, you know, I beat this, like, you know, let's go on and on about Google business profile pages. Lots of leads, lots of reviews. Make sure everything is filled out completely. Put some updates on there. Link your website to the learn more um, optional button there. Add your, add your photos into that platform as well. It's going to build your, it's going to help your positioning on there as well for the three pack reviews, postings, and the pictures, okay? The third, you know, this says reviews. It could go website, then reviews. So the website, I'll just jump into a website, mobile version. Um, it's convertible. Um, it's optimized. There's lots of CTAs, easy to get in contact with you. There's no, they know exactly what you do, no confusion. And that's your mobile website. Reviews. Once again, on the Google business page, you can integrate that right onto your website. It will definitely help out the home page. You can even have a segment, uh, a whole page dedicated to testimonials. You can do that as well. Um, and then the fourth thing is Google ads. Google ads is powerful. It's powerful when you're tracking. When you're not tracking, you're flying blind. Track your conversions and do not run the smart campaign. Run uh, expert mode if you need an audit. On your Google Ads campaign, do not hesitate. Give a call. What do we got here? We should have some contact. Okay, this I'm Brian Ladani, company name PS Digital. We do all of these services, of course. If you need any assistance, you know, we're grateful to be part of the Facebook group page. So we'll go above and beyond. We'll sharpen the pencil. We'll get you out there. We'll do the right thing. Get you lots of leads, qualified leads, consistent. And keep in mind, you know your business better than anyone else. Time is a ticking. So if you need assistance, give me a buzz. Cell phone 917-861-5858. Shoot an email. Easy to get a hold of. And wanted to once again thank Mike Marlow for the, uh, the opportunity to give the owners on this Facebook page as much information as possible, tips, tricks, just for positioning, it's all it's all about three things. It's all about leads, leads, and leads, period. That's all we care about. Qualified leads, consistent qualified leads, just to add two adjectives on top. And and there, there you go, 32, 33 minutes. Thanks again. Have a great season if I don't speak to you. Feel free to reach out if you need anything. Thanks, guys.